Hey everybody, so today I saw an early screening of uh, Shazam, directed by David S. Sandberg, starring uh, Zachary Levi, Mark Strong, Digimon Hansu, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Asher Angel. And let me tell you guys off the bat, someone please alert the authorities, someone call the presses, stop the presses. There is finally a good DC movie out there that is not The Dark Knight. This movie is a great movie Period. The comedy works exceptionally well. The dramatic moments work surprisingly well. And it really helps you feel for the characters and what they're going through. The story is incredibly interesting and is a refreshing and great take on an origin story that doesn't feel forced, dumb, contrived, or cliched. <clears throat> Looking at you, Captain Marvel. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I had to clear my throat there. Uh, the acting is great. Mark Strong work ex works exceptionally well as the villain. Zachary Levi leaps is leaps and bounds better as the titular hero than I thought he would be when this originally when this casting originally came out. Everybody was making fun of it. They thought it'd be terrible when the suit came out. They thought he looked stupid and he looked dumb, but he works. This entire movie hinges on him, and it works throughout the entire thing. He is one of the best superheroes I've ever seen on screen, like character-wise. It, it works exceptionally well, him pretending to be a 15-year-old kid in this older man's body as a hero. It's interesting and works very well. Uh, other than that, uh, Grazer is really good as a, as a kid sidekick. He's a lot of fun, he has a lot of good jokes, and he just doesn't feel like a dumb kid in a superhero movie like that one kid did in Iron Man 3. On the other side, though, however, uh, Asher Angel, he does a fine job playing Billy Batson, but he just feels a little out of place. Grazer feels like he belongs in this universe. He feels like a character that would exist. Angel just seems to be out of place at times, but that's just my opinion. It, it is, it's refreshing to see a DC movie actually take place in the real world, as opposed to taking place 99% on a green screen looking fake as hell. It's nice to have a, a turn to see a DC movie not take itself so seriously and actually have a good deal of fun with it. Uh, on the negative side, though, however, uh, the movie starts off painstakingly slow in my opinion it was somewhat boring and I wasn't sure I was going to feel about it however about half an hour into the movie when Billy gets his powers the movie makes a complete 180 turn and becomes exceptionally better than it was also the CGI that was used at times looks very suspect and really stands out as looking incredibly and surprisingly fake but overall, I absolutely love this movie. It is by far the best DC movie since 2008's The Dark Knight and shows what the DC Universe and their heroes could be and 100% should be in these movies. It is a chock full of fun, it's colorful, and it's an absolute delight to see. The only thing I wish would have happened is to have this movie actually get a legitimate Christmas release instead of coming out in April. The movie is set at Christmas time. It revolves around Christmas. A lot of themes are Christmas. And if they had done that and released this movie in December, I think it would have been a lot more fun and interesting to have that aspect in it. Uh, this is currently my favorite movie of the year. It's not the best. It is my favorite. It could be the best. It's probably up there right now. But as of right now, I would be very hard-pressed to bump this movie off my top 10 list at the end of the year. I absolutely love this movie, and I would recommend it to anybody who likes a superhero movie and anybody, period. 8.9 out of 10, I absolutely love this movie.